Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about Parfaira, Life Cycle, Economic Importance and Cultivation. In this lecture, you are going to learn about introduction about Parfaira, Occurrence, Thalus Structure, Reproduction, Life Cycle, Economic Importance, Cultivation, Algal Growth, Disease and Pathogens, Economics, Conclusion. Porphyra belongs to division Rhodophyta class Rhodophyceae, order Bangialis, family Bangiaceae, genus Porphyra. Porphyra is a red alga commonly called as laver in English and nuri in Japanese. It is an eukaryotic algae. Thallus is a haploid gametophyte, an unbranched leafy blade, monoecious or dioecious. Occurrence Porphyra is a cold water seaweed growing in shallow waters, commonly found in intertidal zone on the rocky shores. Occurs on the coast of Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Some are lithophytes, others epiphytes. Some common species of Porphyra are Porphyra tenera, Porphyra umbilicalis, Porphyra yezoensis. Porphyra purpureum. Thallus structure of porphyra. The blade of gametophyte is erect, flat, unbranched, and membranous. Margin smooth, wavy, and convoluted. Attached to substratum through disc like hold fast. Reserve food, floridian starch. Fond, gelatinous, may be monostromatic or distromatic. Cells possess stellate, chloroplast, and a pyrenoid. Reproduction. In case of asexual reproduction, takes place by means of a haploid sexual spore, neutral spore, which is also called as a neutral spore, formed by an anticlinal division of vegetative cell. Spores lie in the monostromatic layer. After liberation, they germinate into a new haploid porphyra. In case of sexual reproduction, it is a oogamous type. Most species dioecious and some are monoecious. Male sex, and sex organs are called spermatangia, produce spermatia. Female sex organs are called carpogonium, produce egg cells and trichogyne. Sex organs are formed by repeated division of cortical cells of blades. In some cases, trichogyne may be absent in carpogonia. If trichogyne is absent, spermatium produces a narrow cytoplasmic process. If present, the spermatium comes in contact with trichogyne. Thus, the spermatia nucleus move into the carpogonium and fuse with the egg nucleus to form a diploid zygote. After fertilization, zygote divides mitotically to form 8-16 32 nuclei further lead to formation of 816 or 32 uninucleated corpospores. The liberated corpospores is embodied and afflagellated, then comes into rest and becomes spherical. This on germination produces a branched filamentous microscopic structure called conchoceles stage. Conchoceles was a diploid sporophyte of Porphyra. Conchoceles stage produces monosporangium, which produce monospores. The monospores undergo meiosis to produce haploid conchospores. The conchospores germinate into haploid Porphyra gamete, gametophyte. This picture represents the life cycle of Porphyra. Is uh, heteromorphic and diplohaplontic type. Economic importance. Porphyra is used as an ingredient in delicacies like soup, sushi, furikaki, etc. It is also called as a flavoring agent with meat. It is. It has a good amount of protein content, about 20 to 40 percent and free amino acids such as glutamic acid, glycine, alanine, etc. It is said to be rich in vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E. It also contains antioxidants. These are some of the delicacies which are produced from 
porphyra such as furikaki nori seafood salad soup and sushi while porphyra can be collected by hand from natural source most is now derived from cultivation until the understanding of its complete life cycle it has been cultivated but nobody knew where the spores came from so there was a little control over the whole cultivation process the seaweed shed spores and these settle on the mollusk shell in nature it is in any nearby in cultivation they are deliberately placed beneath the blades of seaweed in alternate generation of filamentous alga algae develops from these spores and burrow into the surface of the shell the col conchoidal stage at the end of the growing season late february to early april high quality sporulating porphyra plant are selected from the net zygospore or corpospores are released into a container and a suspension is then sprayed into onto clean oyster shell using a watering can about 1 kg of ripe porphyra is necessary to seed about 20000 shells the zygotospores germinate best in water of 10 to 15 degrees centigrade to form unbranched filaments that penetrate into the cells microscopic examination is carried out if enough spores having penetrated the shells it has been found that the best development of sporophyte phase takes place when the shells are suspended from ropes rather than laying on the bottom of the tank two holes are usually drilled in each shell to make stringers uh, of numerous shells with the tip touching the shells are grown indoor in tank in which bamboo sticks are placed lengthwise just above the water level the strings of shells are hang looped over the sticks the room in which the tanks are placed have windows in the roof and walls which are provided with curtains to control the light intensity a rise in water temperature in early summer is desirable and should not drop below 23 degree centigrade too soon as this stimulate premature spore formation generally there is no need to change sea water in tanks during the summer season but if water quality deteriorate then it is renewed the shells and the water usually contain enough nutrients to feed the colco shells phase but some amount of nitrogen phosphate may be added to stimulate the growth of the algae the shells are kept about 5 months in the indoor tanks and the conco shells phase plants soon become apparent as grayish purple spot nets of synthetic fibers are used for seeding most common seeding mechanism used at present is the place uh, is to place the net on drum di- driven by an electrical motor these are dipped into concrete tank sporulating conco shells phase shells are placed still attached in strings on the bottom of the tank the rotation of the drums keep the water sufficiently turbulent to stop the conco spores from settling on the floor of the tank the fiber of the nets are examined microscopically to ensure that the sufficient number of spores have settled in less commercial methods nets are placed in the ocean in such a way that they are exposed to air for few hours a day the nets were originally set up in intertidal flat area but a space become short a new system of floating net is in deeper water was devised the spores germinate on the nets and grow into new blades of porphyra this is the picture of uh, spermatangia and zygosporangium and uh, second picture is of shells bearing conchoidal filaments this is the picture of strings of shells bearing spores nets bearing porphyra floating nets of porphyra 
in the first month the fronds grow slowly but once they reach the about 1 cm long growth up to 10 to 15 cm can takes place in a tidal cycle of 15 days about 50 days after seeding the nets of the fronds are 15 to 20 cm long during this period the algae are particularly susceptible to disease and factors such as water temperature and salinity have to be carefully considered and the net should be lowered and raised to fit in with the tidal cycle diseases and pathogens about 10 different diseases attack the porphyra including bacteria virus and fungi the usual remedy for this disease is to select a level for the next for the nets that optimize the resistance of the plants but it is not favorable to the survival of pathogen generally there would not seem to be any serious problem from herbivorous but uh, fouling species such as a uh, green algae enteromorpha and ulva and certain diatoms can be troublesome these can be controlled to an extent by careful manipulation of the level of the net but care has to be taken to avoid drying out of the porphyra completely coming to the economics there is a considerable government support for the nori industry in japan extensive basic research was funded in 1960s and 1970s and a network of scientific advisors was set up japanese cultivation of porphyra yield about 4 lakh wet tons per year and this is uh, processed into 10 billion nori sheets representing an annual income of us dollar of 1500 million in the republic of korea cultivation produce 2 lakh 70000 wet tons while china produce 2 lakh 10000 wet tons Porphyra is a unique red algae belong to order Banksialis it shows heteromorphic diploaplontic alteration of generation the thallus is a haploid gametophyte and the sporophytic phase is a conchoidal stage it has good economic importance for its palatability and nutritional value it is used as ingredient in the delicacy of japan china korea and it is commonly called nori in japanese and is cultivated in large scale Thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you